Hi, and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the Python series, Creating Custom Definitions. Last time, we created a dictionary with some input that we saved in our file. And then instead of having the program query for input while the code was running, it just grabbed from a list of adjectives and nouns that we had stored. What we'd like to do now is to to move that into some long-term storage so that we can then work on taking input and storing that input long-term and can, you know, can making a list that stores all the new input that we give it long-term. So to do that, the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our program and we're going to add a new import now. We're going to import pickle. So pickle is a method in Python that provides a, a long-term storage. So now if we save a, a variable, we can save it as a Python pickle. It will create a new file. And then once we read that pickle, it will, it will provide that data back to us as if we had been sa saved in our program. In, in principle, you could just have this in here and you could manually come in and write new nouns and adjectives as much as you wanted and, and make the list as long as you like. But this way we can incrementally add to our list and save it for the future. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll just figure out a way to save a new pickle. So uh, I will come down below our definition here and above our lines and I will say we're going to First, we have to open up a, a file to to read or write into. So we want to say um, f equals open x, and we need a file name. So why don't we call it madlib.pickle? And we're gonna we're gonna write to this file. Now with pickle files, um, I, I've been led to believe that it's more customary now to write as a binary file. So this is that's what the WB stands for there is write binary. And so this is going to be we're going to open a file for writing in binary format. Then we need to say um, the we're going to have to we're going to want dump into that file what we want to store. So we say pickle.dump, and we're going to dump the uh, Madlib dictionary into our file f. And now we need to close our instance of the file that we've opened. So we'll say f.close. And we, I think that that should work. Let us run. And we'll just run it to see if we save the file. One day, ugly dog catcher spoke to the dog and said. So it didn't throw us any errors. And so I can presume with a good amount of confidence that it, in fact, stored that file. And I should be able to uh, go and find that file. And we go Python project. And we have this file here, which I can possibly make bigger. But there's madlib.pickle. So there it is. If I try to read it with Notepad, it's in a binary format. You can, you can actually see some of the, the things that are in it. But it has stored this uh, in a binary format. So now we need to add a definition that would allow us to add to our Python file. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We also need a way to open up the, the pickle file and load the definition. So let us now uh, comment this out so that that's not no longer a part of our, our program. And so now instead of saving it, we want to um, we want to to read it. So now we need to say, well, we're going to actually use the same um, syntax almost. Open, and it's the same name, madlib.pickle. 
pickle. But now we're opening it for reading, and we're reading it in the binary format. All right. So we we want to say we want to now declare our variable. So we want to we want our variable to have the same name so everything works the way we think. Madlib dict equals um, pickle dot load and we need to supply the file. So just pickle.load f. And then we need to say f.close. So this should supply madlib dict. Now you can see that I've I've commented it out here. So um, unless I'm reading it now from our binary file, then I won't have any words to supply in our program. So let's run and see if this works. One day, ugly dog catcher spoke to the dog and said. And since it's random, it really should get a different. One day, a golden plum spoke to the dog and said. A different word, and it does in this case. So it, it still it still gets our our saved binary file and it reads it and it randomly selects from the lists so that's great so now what we would really like to do is to figure out a way to we need to perhaps make a new definition that's going to allow us to read and or write in our binary file and maybe a, a third definition that allows us to add to it so let's uncomment these out and we'll create We'll turn them each into their own definition. So this one will be definition, and it'll be save mad lib pickle. And right now, I don't think we need to supply anything to it if we want to just keep these things named the way that they are. And then we can have a new def that can be open. Sorry. Uh, Mad lip pickle. Now, in this definition, though, we do need to have something that we return. So, this should return mad lib, sorry. And in fact, this one needs to take mad lib dict as input so that it knows what to save. So this one requires the madlib dict and this one does not require any input but it doesn't it needs to return something whereas this one do, doesn't need to return anything. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So now I'm going to borrow from this get new word definition that we had in the past and use that to request a new word that we want to add to it. Our dictionary. So let's make a copy of this, and we'll we'll change it to um, add new word to dict. Okay, and then so we're going to need to supply a dictionary. So we can call it anything we want as long as we keep the name of it consistent within the dictionary. So we can just call it. Uh, any dict and we want to add a part of speech to it so we would still query for the part of speech and have it run and say that run and wait and get the new word as input and then we will say all right well whatever dictionary we supply um, and whatever key we supply we want to append to that dictionary, uh, whatever new word we, we input at the command line, okay? And now to keep that keep the changes we've made to the dictionary, we need to return the dictionary, and we may as well return the new word and the dictionary. And so and maybe it makes sense to return the dictionary first, since we request the dictionary first. I don't know for sure. The order is, is only important in terms of how you, you read it. So in this case, this is going to return two things. We supply the dictionary and the part of speech we want, and we return the dictionary and the new word. 
Um, so we haven't actually used this yet. So now that we have this definition, why don't we use it? So let us copy that and we can say, well, first of all, we want to open our Madlib. So we need to say Madlib dict equals open Madlib pickle. Okay. So we're using our definition here so that we get our Madlib. Now we want to add something to it. And so we will add new word. We're going to use that definition. And so we also need, what does it return? It returns the dictionary and the new word. So we can um, And in this case, we really could, if, we, if we're just going to use the dictionary to get the new word, we don't really need it to return the, the new word here. I, I'm going to leave it like that just for the sake of simplicity in this case. But we don't want any dict. We, we, want to, we need to make sure we replace any dict here with Madlib dict. That's the dictionary we want to pass into here. And then what words do we want to add to it? We'll say noun. Um, and we'll just, it'll return something that it'll store as new word that won't make any difference to us. So this should now request four new nouns. And, or why don't we make it two nouns and two adjectives. So this will request two nouns and two adjectives. And then we'll save our hard work here. So we, we will have opened it, we will get the new words, we will save it, but we still have the dictionary so we can still get new, you know, from the list. And it may get words that we already have, but uh, eventually it should get words that were some of the new ones we provided. So let's save this and we will run it a couple of times or as long until we finally get one of the new words we provided and as long as it's not throwing up any errors, which it is liable to do. Give me a noun and press enter. Mouse. Give me a noun and press enter. Shirt. Give me an adjective and press enter. Um, blue. Give me an adjective and press enter. Slimy. One, One day a fat mouse, mouse spoke to the dog and said, Okay, so we got very lucky, and at this in this first time, it did select one of the new words, and it selected one of the old adjectives. So now, if we ran this again, we would continue adding to our list of nouns and adjectives. Um, but since the code ran without any problems, then we can safely assume that it did what we told it to. It opened the Madlib. We added these two nouns and two adjectives into our Madlib dictionary. We save the Madlib dictionary, which means we those words, the mouse and whatever else, slimy, they're all saved into the dictionary. And then it ran this part of the code here as it had before. So hopefully you're, you're getting a little more comfortable using dictionaries that you, you've, we now figured out how to use this pickle for long-term storage so that we can, we could run this code next week and it would still have all those words saved in that pickle. And as long as they're in the file locations that we told them to be in, then we can read them and write them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.